The Mister, for me, is hands down one of the greatest gaming-related purchases I've made to date. The versatility of software that this little box can simulate is nothing short of mind-blowing. It's unfathomable to think that this small device can contain a half a century's worth of software programming. From old computers to vintage gaming consoles, the Mister does a lot. And thanks to the hard efforts of dedicated programmers and engineers whose hard work is only outshined by their passion and love for vintage games, we now have many accurate simulations of a variety of classic consoles with more being added every year. While the Mister has claimed dominance in my gaming setup, I have spent the better part of a year waiting for Porkchop Express's Mistercade, a device that takes everything that's great about the Mister project and converts it into a plug-and-play solution for arcade hardware that uses the JAMA standard. Back in April of 2021, I got my first Japanese arcade cabinet. Aside from my friend introducing me to these amazing machines, I have had virtually no experience with the technical side of arcade hardware. That's right. I am new to arcade hardware, and as if the plans had aligned, once I ordered my arcade cabinet, Mr. Cade was announced shortly thereafter. After patiently waiting over five months to get my hands on one, and out of the kindness of Porkchop Express offering me a release candidate, essentially ending my private torment of patience, Mr. Cade has finally arrived. But the real question is, how plug and play is it? Well, let me tell you something. I consider myself a fairly technical person, but when it comes to arcade hardware, I am new to it. And Mr. Cade just works. However, that doesn't mean that I didn't run into any problems in the beginning. All of the minor issues that I've had were not the fault of Mr. Cade, but rather my own doing. Alright, so I connected the Mr. Cade and this is the first time I'm going to boot it up. Either this went right or something is going to go terribly wrong. And in the world of arcades, things usually go wrong. And I've never tested this arcade cabinet out before, so this is it. Let's find out. Okay, I have everything connected, but I didn't turn it on yet. I'm actually recording a video of the whole process as I've been doing it. And you're about to bear witness with me live right now if everything, if I got everything right or not. Uh oh, all right, ready. I got it. This is my moment. I have no idea. This could go right, this can go wrong. All right. I follow the instructions as closely as possible. We're gonna okay. Alright. Uh, is your cab on? Or are you gonna turn your cab on? Okay, whatever. Just do what you gotta do. Let me see. Okay. Computer. Insert coin. Turning on Sega in oh. Astro City. Get ready for high quality graphics and sounds. This cabinet right. allows impressive and exciting. No oh. fucking way! Are you first off, serious? the very first time I plugged Mr. Cade into my arcade cabinet, it booted up and within seconds I saw the familiar Mr. Interface we all come to know and love. However, my harness wiring was off. Very off. Alright, so this is great. I got it working, but it looks like the way I put my controls in, I have to rotate the joysticks. Everything is just off. I press right, it goes up. I press to the left, it goes down, up is left, down is right, so I feel like I gotta actually turn, the, rotate the sticks themselves counterclockwise. Yeah, up, up is left, down is right, right is up, left is down. Alright, we'll figure this out. But thanks to the guidance of Mr. Add-ons and the control utility software built into Mr., I was able to solve my wiring issues fairly quickly, and shortly after, 
I was fully up and operational with Mr. Cade. Now everything I love and enjoy about Mr. is here in my JAMA arcade cabinet. All of the sophisticated programming that went into Mr. Cade for use in the JAMA arcade cabinet has been taken care of for me. All you have to do on your end is to properly set up the micro SD card, and Porkchop Express already has the instructions and necessary files for you to follow on his GitHub. After that, it just works. All of the controls have been mapped out for me, so I spent much less time trying to configure them and more time just playing the games. And thanks to the feedback from the beta testers Porkchop has selected to send early prototypes of Mr. Cade to, we now have what is basically a perfect device that is not only an incredible value for its cost, but has additional cost savings when you consider the average cost of just one arcade PCB. Speaking of arcade games, I tried out a lot of Hotego's beta cores at first, shortly followed by the Neo Geo core. And then, just for the fun of seeing console gamers run in an arcade cabinet, one of the many benefits of Mr. Cade, I loaded the Game Boy Advance core, you know, for laughs. But what happened after was completely unexpected, and I wasn't laughing. I had a blast playing Game Boy Advance, and it wasn't before long that I decided to load other console cores. I know that the idea of playing console games on an arcade cabinet can be viewed by some as sacrilegious, and I can understand why people see it that way. But I do have to tell you, I had an amazing time playing these games with authentic silent controls. Now, this has introduced me into a whole new way of experiencing tens of thousands of classic console games. Seriously, playing vintage console games with arcade controls brings with it an entirely new experience that will provide me countless hours of fun. And for the Sega Genesis, when you look at the layout of the controller and the arcade controls, you know it's a match made in heaven. Aside from the ability to adjust the horizontal and vertical position of the viewable screen area with your arcade controls, you have additional controls on that using the Mr.'s menu. Of course, my main focus from the start with Mr. Cade was the ability to play arcade games on real arcade hardware. But now, I just might find equal time playing console games as well. So is Mr. Cade worth it? If you're running emulators off of a Raspberry Pi, a Pandora's box, or even a PC inside your JAMA arcade cabinet, Mr. Cade will more than likely open up a new world of gaming experiences for you. You'll probably enjoy above all the sheer convenience of simply being able to turn off your arcade cabinet instantly without having to worry about properly shutting down the software first, just like a real arcade PCB. If you're only into using real arcade boards, I would still recommend buying a Mr. Cade for your cabinet, as the Mr. is the evolution of emulating the classics. It's not about replacing your arcade PCB, although you certainly can, but achieving accuracy has been the main goal of Mr. from the start. And all of the amazing things Mr. has been doing on our LCD and CRT screens has now been delivered to our JAMA cabinets as well. I just wanted to thank Porkchop Express for giving me a chance to purchase the Mr. Cade early and get a review candidate in my hands and put it through its paces. Uh, I've had it now more or less for about a month and a half, two months, and it's been perfect every single time. Uh, I love it, and uh, I just really wanted to say thank you. And I want to thank you guys for watching my review. I hope you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, click the like button, and share this with your friends. Guys, thank you so much for watching Console Vision, and have a great day. Take care.